Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jamie the Gamer here. Welcome back to the episode of The Saga Log. Honestly, we're out here. We're big chilling. We honestly have a lot of things going on. We have a fight with, I think, Joy or something like that. Another Joy fight. Kind of a lot of Joy fights lately, but it's another one. Another one. Yeah, yeah. Another one. Another Joy fight. But um, I don't even know how much money we have. We should probably check our potion count because um, super potions are important. Well, actually, yeah, they are. I don't have like any so that'll be good carry to have um, oh we got 19 we're fine we're fine we're chill we're chill we're chill um i don't really necessarily feel like i need ultra balls at this current moment so i'm not gonna get those um and we'll head on because we actually were smart and decided hey let's stop at route 14 you know because that's exactly like where you should go this is the number 14 card on it oh my gosh guys girl i can't believe it hi s meister sup jonas you arrived very, very quickly after my telemessage. It's almost like I care. So, oh, hi, S. Meister. We are comp comparing how our complete our Pokedexes are. I won, of course. I'll leave filling up to the Pokedex to you guys, or to you guys, Jonas. I don't like it when everybody does the same thing anyway. S. Meister, let's compare how many Pokemon we've seen like we always do. It's time to let us compare our Mount Kalos Pokedex. But to put it another way, I'm challenging my own Pokemon battle because I can't win in a superiority matchup. So, you've seen 68. Ugh. How infuriating that I lost. Hi. I exist. Oh, you've seen Gibble too? Just knowing about the same Pokemon just makes me so happy. Nice deflection. Appreciate it. There are sure different kinds of Pokemon in Kalos. Now it's my turn. I actually want to have a Pokemon battle with you. I knew you would, Joy. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. We actually got the stuff we needed for you today. And you're going to lead off with something we're terrible with. Oh, hi. You literally straight up led with freaking Sammy Samson. Yay. We led Dino for this. Yeah. Also, why are you level four? You're literally, like, way lower leveled. What the heck, Joy? Oh, boy. We're in trouble, though, because Sammy slash Samson has a ravaging aura that can freaking destroy my entire team. Um, let's go ahead and go with the Jolly Roger. We have Grass Pledge. That seems like the best move, best idea. But let's go wrong very fast because you have Acrobatics, no item. And you have Icicle Crash now. Yeah, you have Physical Stab. Yes, we stand, girl. You're getting better, and we love it so much. And don't doesn't make us want to die or anything. Um, at least Icicle Crash is your best move, it looks like. So, uh, thank goodness, right? Because that could have been a horrible best. I mean, I feel like Acrobatics is better, but okay. Okay, Joy, you can just do, do you do you. You don't have to use Acrobatics if you don't want to, even though it's better. It's fine. Weaky Berry. Okay. It's okay. You can take it easy on me. I appreciate it. Because I need it. Not going to lie. But it's fine. But yeah. So we have a joy fight. We have a lot going on in this episode. It's just bap, 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 bap. And not going to lie. I don't mind a kind of episode. But also. Oh, no, Joy. No, 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 no. Uh, I was joking. I didn't want to. I didn't want to type episode um well crap come on out satan try and freaking destroy things but you probably won't be able to because you're satan and why would satan be able to destroy anything <sighs> darn manitan uh well never mind you're a psychic too by darn manitan or not by darn manitan excuse me Wait, does that just give us more defense? Actually, I think it does. Thank you, Joy. You're amazing. Helping me out one step at a time. Forty-four, huh? Dino level forty-seven. Pincushion cat level forty-seven. Stunfisk. Um. We'll go with Katie. It's ground and electric. Katie resists both stabs. Katie is super effective. This seems like the most optimal choice here. 
Although stun gifts can be a little bit of one of the one of those like terrifyingly dumb mons where you're like, what the frick? But I mean, if you're gonna pull this, then KD might be able to take care of this entire fight. Cotton Guard, go! Wow! Oh, it was a crit, that's why. Okay. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? You should not have done that much damage. Also, I double-clicked the wrong move, but it's fine. At least I recognized instantly that that was a crit. I was like, excuse me, that should not have happened. But yeah, this is why we bought freaking super potions. Also, fresh water is probably better here anyway. Oh, they're both 50. Wait. Oh. Uh, I did a dumb then. Remind me, I can legit just go to the factory, spam $100 items. I don't need to carry super potions. I didn't know that, actually. I did not realize. I thought well, fresh water was like 30 or 40, so that's why I was like, oh, that's pointless. That's whatever. I'd rather take the extra convenience money. Didn't realize it wasn't convenience money, and I could literally have bought freaking, what, 70 with the 10 that I bought? Swalot. I set you up, and now I can't use you. That doesn't sound familiar at all, but it's fine. Um, that sucks, actually. That hardcore is rough, because I literally did not plan for that. I just was like, okay, we're fine. I'll just use my, like, hyper potions. Nope, didn't need to do that. Poison Fang. Also, what the heck is my level cap? We for I literally, I wrote it down. Thank God. I am so happy that I wrote down my level caps, and I, like, didn't, like, half-butt it. I was like... I should probably write down my entire level caps, just to make sure I don't mess up too hard. And... My level cap for this next gym is 48. So I guess, in theory... Yeah, because that's six, six, seven, eight, Elite 4. Yeah, so 48 is my level cap. So, I mean, I'm not even actually, like, I'm doing pretty good as far as my level cap. Because my level cap for the last day gym was 43. And I did pretty good there, too. Like, I was pretty similarly leveled. I had a couple 46s, but... Um... I forgot what was coming out. Well, I'll stay in, because I forgot. Diggersby. That's why I was going to switch. But... That's okay. We have dual chop. I should have switched into KD. That's what I was looking for. But, you know, Joyce is going to do nothing and it's going to be okay. But we're going to do nothing as well. So, come on. Wow. Okay. That's not even bad, though. Like, let, let's get focus energy right out, you. Jolly Roger at 46. 44. Hitmon Chan. We stay in. <laughs> poor Joy. No, but that's honestly a poor Joy, poor joy moment because literally she's over here putting in so much work and the game's like, oh, by the way, let me... Oh, She ends murdering herself. That's basically inevitable. I made Joy rage quit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Joy. I didn't mean to make you rage quit like that, but... That's, like, out of your nature, so I definitely made you mad. Oof, that's bad. Hi, Charizard. Thank you for being amazing. Wow, oh my god, that was a really intense battle. Like, I can't believe that happened. Oh, hi, Mega. When did you start watching? So where's... Tyranny? Tyranny. He's at the Fighting Dojo. Really? The Fighting Dojo? Sorry I'm late, everybody. Tyranny? So, Carp, have you found any good Pokemon for your dance team? Yep, sure did. Super close, my ideal dance team. That's great for you. Hey, everybody, let's go to the scary house. The one by the Anxiety Apartments? That That's just a rumor, isn't it? Come on, let's go find out if the rumor's true together. I think I'm going to pass. 
I'm sure it's just a rumor, and I want to spend time with my Pokemon before heading to the Anxiety Apartments. No, Joy, don't go to the Anxiety Apartments. That's a terrible compartment in my brain. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's really scary. Yes. Yes, Carp. Anxiety Apartments is the worst spot you could ever go, so... Let's go see for ourselves how bad anxiety apartments are. I'm going to just drag you all to the worst place on earth. Uh, yes. There's always a reason for rumors to be started about the anxiety apartments. Uh, feels Charizard. Where are you traveling, Shady? Everyone is working really hard at what they want to do. But I'm just all about the memories and kind of goofing around. Just kidding, but not actually. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I know you want to goof around. You want to have fun. And everybody's kind of moving on, doing their things, and not making fun easy. Um, that's for sure. I can get that. Um, I can really get that. So. Stone plate. So, yeah. No, I just. I, I feel that. Like, you really have some things in mind. You want to do things, and the universe just tells you, oh, by the way, that's thing you wanted to do? Yeah, no. Well, here's our encounter. We chose water, and I don't know if I feel that. I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm all right. I was going to say I don't think I made a good decision, but, you know, I did. I, that's totally fine. Um, although, freaking, you're not my catching Pokemon, so I'm sorry, Dino, but, uh, you gotta get yeeted out of here for, in favor of Bubble Hentai. Wow, that's a sad sentence. That's an out of context sentence for ya. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Also, uh, just realized we have Aqua Tail now and Sludge Bomb, and uh, a lot of Pokemon have really good movesets at this point, so I really can't attack anything. Great. I guess that's what is better to attack with. But it's probably gonna. Oh, it didn't die. Woo! -hoo. No, we don't pull shady penguins over on this channel. Not allowed. Okay, Dark Ride probably won't get caught, let's be honest. It probably won't. But I'm gonna go for it. I might as well. We're heading to the Pokemon Factory. We're getting a Master Ball soon. All of this should happen essentially around the time of just every craziness, every crazy thing going on. So, I might as well try try for this, right? Because, like, episode 220, the scary episode, um, is going to have the gym and the stuff anyway because it's a it's a gym you don't have to fight any trainers on right so it's like either i take it on essentially now or i'm like this is actually one moment where i'm like don't catch too fast it's a weird this is a weird moment because like you you typically you're like yes catch 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 and i'm just like prolong it prolong it prolong it a little bit please 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 because i want to get to a point where i can be like yep end of episode work chill guys and it's like woo. it's scary though because you're like well what is that cut hole cut what is that threshold i guess we got to find that out right again my hope is it's going to take a little while we know it is not banded. It's got switcheroo. It's got safeguard. So it's literally whatever my Pokeball limit is, is what we got. So we're going to go at this thing because it doesn't have anything to attack us with. So we have free reign here. We, we really do. And it's just like, oh boy. Come on. We have 26 turns here. 26 of them. Oh, that might have been a little too soon. Uh-oh. That could have been too soon. Oh, boy. We have a dark ride, though. We're going to name it Patters, because of course we are. We're not. We're lazy. I'll be honest, this is a lazy name pick. Whew, okay.
Stop prolonging things. Thank you, don't boss hole. When items come in clutch and save your life. Well, what I'll do then is I will make my way over to the area that we need to get to and then fly to get the Dome Fossil and end the episode. Thank you, Dome Fossil, for being the best. Honestly, that Dome Fossil literally saved our life. If I would have chosen the grass, we would have had a... Cavagrius! You know, I talked about wanting one, so I'm not even mad. Like, either way, it would have been okay. I also like how looking at the genders, like, I'm like, okay, oh, what's the gender of this? Dark, right, though? That's so neat. But yeah, I'm curious. Like, this is what most likely the. F Ooh, I should. That's a lie. We are, we are in what I would like to call uh, a tough battle after this. Like, episode 220 is Jim plus the 12v12. The cutthroat 12v12, mind you. Not the little, like, oh, it's 12v12. Yes, they have little 20s, but I'm fine. No, it's the cutthroat. Like, they're going to slap everything. So, it's, a, it's the scary one. It's the big scary one. I think it's the scary... Oh, this is just me. Okay, I think that this is the scariest fight in the game upcoming because it's a 12v12 forced fully evolved You cannot control one side of the field So you have to rely on like joy actually doing joy things and what if joy decides not to do joy things like joy could just do nothing and you're just like But why joy why you put me through this and <laughs> it's it's it is a very very tough grueling battle we do know her moveset, and when I say that, I mean we've seen it. It's Icicle Crash, Brine. That's all I remember. Icicle Crash and Brine. Um, I don't know if she has priority or not. There's a couple question marks. There's a lot of question marks when you when you look at Joy's team and you're like, okay. But here, your opponents can just double into you. They can say, you're the threat, so bye. And not only can they double into you, like... Your AI, your opponent sitting next to you, can actually use, like, Surf, Earthquake, other moves that you're like, it's a double battle, dude. What are you doing? And that's a possibility. So, there's a lot of red flags. There's a lot of question marks. A lot of scare. But this, once you pass this fight in an X and Y Soul Link, or Soul Link, in an X and Y any playthrough... Not just Soul Link, but it's even more tantalizing in Soul Link. Is tantalizing the word I'm looking for? Actually, I'm curious. I feel like it's definitely not, and I'm about to be proven hecka wrong. Tantalizing definition. Tantalizing, tormenting, or teasing with the sight or promise of something unobtainable. Oh my! I actually was right on a word. Okay. Yeah, like it torments you, it taunts you, it's sitting here being a pain in the little butt nugget, and you're just like, and it's just like, it seems that, that that goal seems unreachable. So, yeah, I was right. Wow. Um, that's a, I'm too impressed by the fact that I used the word tantalizing, but yeah, so, anyways, you have that, and that's a scary, so that's a big, scary fight. That's kind of on the horizon that I have to continually think about and have on the back of my mind. Also, me clicking return on these ghost types, I better not get trained to do that. Because that's going to screw me over and <laughs> mess me up if I actually don't have the ability that I'm thinking. But if I don't have aerial in the future, I will click it and make that mistake and be like, oh, well. Because I, I, if I'm going to be honest, I think I'm doing it out of just habit, not out of... Um, it's, yeah, it's more out of habit and not a, hey, by the way, oh, this is all blocked off, okay. I don't have repels, do I? If I have repels, I might use, I'm gonna use them here, because this is an annoying area. And trying to run just seems counterintuitive.
Okay, we don't. We never bought any, because of course we didn't. Oh. Simple Beam might actually be a very, oh shoot, a very good thing for us. Uh, I'll skip that item for now. Oh, hi, Mothing. That actually might be a nice... Oh, no, it's not, because we can't control the other side of the field. That I almost screwed that up. I screwed the pooch on that one almost, and that would have made me bad. Come on, it's this way. Uh, wrong way. You're going to the area. I'm like, I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into this haunted house. It is a scary house, isn't it? Well, let's go inside. No. What? You're going inside? Are you all serious? Joy is spending time off with her Pokemon, so I guess we'll just have to go in without her. Because, you know, let's push her that direction. What if I want Joy to be here, okay? What if I want Joy to be in here with me? I guess so, then. Let's go inside by ourselves. I mean, yeah, you're right, Charizard. We can't wait. Unfortunately, group majority, but it's fine. Let's get started. It was a dark and stormy night many years ago. Lost, I arrived at this house and went inside. The lights would not turn off, so I would fearfully look around the house. Eventually, I made the kitchen. There was no sign of, of anyone being there. I found the fridge, and when I opened it, the faint light leaked out. I could finally make out my surroundings, and I saw a faint outline of a man huddling around the corner of the room. I tried to tell him that I was lost, and I was hoping that he would stay till morning. Oh, I would like a man to stay till morning. Hmm. Uh, but I hoped, it but when I pushed him, the man suddenly screamed, stay back, and I apologized, and I could plead my case, but please help me, I'm not talking to you, he shouted. I looked at the man in surprise when I did this, the, the man asked me, can you see them behind you? A horde of faceless men. Even better. I don't see the problem with that. Now then, since I told you a wonderful story, this will always haunt you, would you, I, I, would, I would ask you to tip me. If you don't, then something might... Something really scary might happen. You're charging us? Even haunted houses aren't free, you know. Would you like to give a tip? Yes. If you can bring me them faceless and men, I'll give you a thousand dollar tip. Sheesh, let's get out of here. Huh? It's over already? I really wasn't listening. Was the story you told really true? Was it actually, like, something that happened? No, it wasn't. I guess it really was a scary house in a way. Well, I want... I know you wanted to go camping, and that was kind of like camping. That was your style of camping. And I'll leave it at that. People usually tell us scary stories at the campfire, right? I mean, yeah, but like, also, was there a campfire there? Ooh, did I get s'mores? Did I get marshmallows? Did I get to play games with my friends and family? I'm giving him a hard time today. Sorry, Trevor. I'm just like, Trevor, I'm gonna just... Mm. What should I do next? I guess I'll go to the Anxiety Apartments. No, I, I don't think that's a good idea. See you later, that's my sir. Please compare Pokedex with me again soon, because I, I'm gonna lose again, and then I'm gonna be mad. <sighs> Charizard, let's have a chat. I wish we could actually talk and have dialogue. But unfortunately, the game does not allow for such things. Anxiety apartments. Yeah. Woo, anxiety. We love it. Um, it's the best. It's something that, you know, prohibits you from doing things and, you know, makes it sure that, you know, you cannot do what you want to do unless you have to think about 8,000 things at 8,000 different times with 8,000 different reasons. And then you got to make sure that you're right. And if you make sure you're right, then it's great. But if somebody corrects you, then you're automatically wrong because, of course, you can never be right. <sighs> oh, we have a flying kitty. I forgot about that. Atreyu is the wrong person. I meant to say Falcor. I kind of went hard there for a second. I'm sorry. Um... But yeah, no, that's honestly how the feeling, though. It's just like... That. It's that. It's like, brain, stop. 
being dumb is literally what it feels like. Um, it's raining. Oh my gosh. I love the, I actually love the rain to be honest. The, I, I'm weird. I actually would literally, I like going out in the rain. Let's figure out what my dome fossil is. Well, I don't think we've had one of these before. And if we have, then I oofed. Uh oh. Ooh, the fact that you guys are about to kill a Pokemon, we got a Flappy. I don't mind that. So what do we got? We got Flappy, which is Storm Drain Pixie Plate, Magnetic Flux, Play Nice, Wild Charge, and Charge. Or Charge. Yeah, actually, I did say it right. Okay. I mean, that's not a that's a weird move set, but it's worth it. Okay, it's a weird move set, but it's workable. I'll take it. It's better than what it could have been. Dude, I have no idea what I'm adding to the team when you guys kill them on, though. I mean, I, honestly, it's one of those fun things where it's like it really depends on what you kill. But yeah, I guess on that note, um, we can end this episode off uh, and kind of meet you guys at the gym leader. And I say that because. Well, the gym leader, you don't actually have to fight people to get to. So, we can kind of just get our training up there. Um, while we head to the anxiety apartments, deal with our thing, do our thing. We have mods, like I said, we want to get them to level about 48, because that is her level. So, 48 or 49 is acceptable. Um, actually, you know what, I'll get you a real number. Um... Of what, is, what is acceptable. Pokeball Factory. Here are the top search results. Forty one times one point one five. Forty one times one point one five. So yeah, so 48 is acceptable. That's that's a good level cap. It's about like mid 48s. So I'll get us there. We can do this. Um, and we'll see you guys at the gym leader to start the next episode because, like I said, it's just uh, slapping a doodle and a wrist in your ear. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll be catching you there. And uh, I'm nervous, but nervous is fun. Love you. <laughs>